Hey, this is Molly Zahn Harrison with eXp Realty and the Zahn Group. I um, just wanted to kind of go over a market recap for 2023. So we're closing out the year, and I think we've had a fantastic year in real estate. It's been a little bit of a roller coaster, um, but overall, I think we're on a really good steady pace here in the Charlotte market. Um, but really what I want to do to start with is start on a national level and kind of take a look at what our national real estate market is doing, and then we'll kind of dive into what the Charlotte market is doing. So overall, again, the market was like a little bit of a roller coaster. It was really hot in 2021 and a little bit more tempered pace in 2022. 2023, of course, we saw a lot of a slowdown um, in the market, but prices still went up. Nationally, they hovered around the $400,000 mark, um, which is great, the median prices, but the rate of growth was significantly slower than the previous years, which is a good thing to see, but still an increasing market. Um, interest rates, of course, kind of took the center stage to this whole thing as we were used to the, you know, ideal two and three quarters, three and a quarter percent, which of course now the mortgage rates peaked this year at 7.79%, which was a huge difference um, for a lot of people, like especially that are buying in this market. And that was the, kind of the big shocker for everybody, making home ownership a lot more expensive. Um, so we did see inventory starting to build up a little bit, but most people due to the interest rates were choosing to stay in their homes versus trading in their low interest mortgage to one that was significantly higher. So if a move wasn't necessary, we were seeing a lot of people continue to stay in their homes, making our inventory still a little bit tighter on the backside. So, but overall 2023 was a great year. Um, it's a year transition for sure, as the market's trying to adjust to the higher interest rates and a more balanced supply and demand overall. Um, but I think the buyers at this point are starting to realize that the rates are going to stay where they are. Um, they're not going to get much better. And so those that still want to buy are trying to find a way to still get into the market. A lot of that just means adjusting their criteria a little bit, maybe buying at a diff different price point or looking at a different product or a different area. Um, but I think those buyers are still trying to figure out a way to get into the market. So now that's on a national level. Charlotte, um, let's focus in on Charlotte. Now, the Queen City kind of um, defied the national trend. We here have um, home prices that have continued to rise steadily, reaching over $430,000 as the median by the year end. Um, our market scene tends to stay very strong due to our booming, economy, our booming economy and our diverse job market. So overall, the Charlotte market has remained a very hot city to move into. Um, inventory did remain low, but we did see some improvements. So we have a little bit more inventory, especially in some of the different areas around town. Um, it's Charlotte has very diverse areas. So some areas of Charlotte have grown a lot more than others. Well, on other parts of um, Charlotte, we're seeing a lot more inventory build up. So it just depends on where exactly that you're looking and what market that you're in. Um, but our affordability compared to other major cities still continues to attract a lot of buyers from across the country. So we have low tax rates and our affordability is really strong with a strong job market. So Charlotte remains to be a very hot city to move into. All right, so now let's look at what our outlook is for this year to come. So for 2024, again, let's go back to the national level. Um, the slowdown is expected to continue. Um, experts predict that lukewarm demand and the market will closely resemble markets closer to the, 220, the 2020 years. Um, prices could dip slightly, especially in those markets that higher, um, that, had, that showed bigger gains back in 2022 and 23. And interest rates are supposed to, of course, remain high. Um, they might start, they've probably hit their peak. Um, we might see them starting to come down, but experts predict that they aren't going to go below the 6% range. Um, right now, they actually have come down almost a full percent. They're at 6.75, which is great. And they'll probably stay in this range for quite some time through most of um, this upcoming year. And inventory is expected to continue to increase, providing some um, buyers with more choices. Now, looking at the Charlotte market again, our market is expected to remain very strong, um, continued price, price um, growth, and high demand. Uh, we see a lot of demand specifically, <laughs> specifically in um, the South Charlotte area and some of the bigger booming areas like Belmont. Um, Gaston County actually has a really high um, demand rate, Union County, and even Fort Mill. So there's some really great areas of town that are continuing to grow and um, not a lot of inventory. So the prices continue to go up. Um, the rate of growth probably will slow down comparatively to last year and especially a lot slower than 2022. But it is, Charlotte is predicted to outperform, outperform most of the major U.S. cities across the country. 
Affordability will remain, remain a key driver for demand around here, especially with rising national nationwide prices. And with our diverse economy and our strong, strong job market, we'll continue to attract buyers from across the country. So overall, the Charlotte market will continue to remain strong. And if you are thinking about buying or selling, um, it's a really good idea to contact us or a realtor and get um, an idea of what your specific home would, would list for or sell for, what your outlook is for buying, what the inventory will be. We can definitely help you in every single market that you're going to be looking in. Um, because like I said, in Charlotte, there are different pockets that are gonna be, have more inventory or less inventory where the demand is higher, depending on what your product is that you're buying and selling. So always, if you're looking to buy or sell, make sure you reach out to us first and get a specific overview of what your outlook looks like.